What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today I'm at the Liberty Science Center for the Beyond Rubik's Cube exhibition. Let's go inside and I'm gonna show you guys my top five favorite exhibits. The Beyond Rubik's Cube exhibition commemorates the 40th anniversary of Rubik's Cube with this huge hands-on Rubik's Cube theme exhibit. After its time here at New Jersey's Liberty Science Center, the exhibition will travel around the world for the next seven years. So, it's time for my top five favorite exhibits at the Beyond Rubik's Cube exhibition. Coming in at number five is the world's most expensive Rubik's Cube. Created by Diamond Cutters International and valued at two and a half million dollars, this cube contains 1,350 precious gems including 34 carats of rubies, 34 carats of emeralds, and 22.5 carats of amethyst. Maybe worth the most, but it certainly didn't make the top of this list. At number four, we have the original Rubik's Cube prototypes. Here you can see the first prototype as well as some of the original cube cores and first functional wooden 3x3. If you feel inspired from these prototypes, you can try creating one of your own with some of the same materials, including wooden blocks, rubber bands, and hooks. For number three, I chose the mosaic exhibit. This is one of the most interactive portions of the exhibition. First, they have a huge projected time lapse of Pixel Peak creating a mosaic of Erno Rubik on the floor. Then, on the wall, is a huge mosaic made of 1,036 cubes. There, you can work as a group or by yourself to create your own mosaic. They even have a touchscreen computer that had a very familiar feeling app that helped you create a full sized mosaic. While I was there, the mosaic was constantly changing, and I loved seeing how creative people were being. Coming in at number two is the Rubik's Cube Robot by Faber Electronics. This interactive robot will solve your cube for you. It's definitely not the fastest solving robot, but it might be the most consistent. And that's because this robotic arm is also used for assembly in, in factories. In fact, it can repeat a motion in 3D space to an accuracy of 20 microns. That's less than the thickness of your hair. It's fun to watch it solve, and if you can solve a cube, be sure to race it. Finally, when the robot's done, it shows off with a fun victory dance. It's definitely one of the most crowded parts of the exhibition. Before revealing my favorite thing at Beyond Rubik's Cube exhibition, and with so much to choose from, I thought I'd share a couple honorable mentions that just missed the cut. First was the walkway when you first entered the exhibition. You might miss it because it's so subtle, but the wall interacts with people as they walk by. And second, was the giant two-ton cube in the center of the exhibit. When it's complete, you should be able to control it and see it move. But because it wasn't complete, I didn't make the list. So my number one favorite exhibit is the incredible Rubik's Cube. This 26-foot illuminated cube is controllable by stations on the third floor and after hours, you can control it online at playgroovix.org. There you can actually control the cube for around 10 minutes and see it move using the webcam. The interface is a little bit slow and it's kind of hard to use, but I gotta say it looks great and I love that you can control it from anywhere in the world. Be sure and try it out and see if you can beat my very slow time of 7 minutes and 33 seconds. And if you can't do it in person, definitely give it a try at playgroovix.org. <laughs> if you've visited Beyond Rubik's Cube, what was your favorite part? And if you haven't, what looks coolest to you? That's pretty much it. I want to thank Seven Towns, Rubik's, and Liberty Science Center for the invitation to visit the Beyond Rubik's Cube World Premiere Gala. I specifically want to thank both Holly and Robert for getting Erno Rubik's attention so that I could meet him, grab a picture, and have him sign my 1980s cube. It was awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and of course, have a great day.